babe what's up with you he just got me a car i don't understand who got you a car mike he got me a car this evening i couldn't believe it myself wow wait you mean you have a car that is parked in your house right now yes it's parked in my house right now you can come see it yourself if you doubt it i don't doubt you my dear but i'm definitely coming to see it calls for celebration congratulations thanks love so are you still coming yes i'm coming right now okay love i'll be expecting you soon all right bye hmm. sandra is indeed really lucky to find a man who loves her so dearly and will do anything for her while i'm here while lowering in doubt and distrust in my own relationship Kelly doesn't even show me love even if it's half of what mike shows sandra and every day he'll be claiming he loves me what if he has someone else? I need to find out though. I need to know where I stand in this relationship. I need to know if he truly loves me or not. <laughs> Anyways, let me go and dress and celebrate with my friend Jare. It's not easy to have a new car just like that. I have to go and see it myself. touch me i'm not in the mood for that baby what's the matter you have been acting strange lately what's the problem nothing i just want to be left alone that's all what do you mean by you want to be left alone i come all the way from my office to your house to the day's stress and all you could say is that i should leave you alone you should have called me before coming i'm not in the mood to entertain visitors at the moment is that what i am to you a mere visitor if you say so my love i know you too well this is not my Chelsea. If there is anything, why not open up to me and let's trash it instead of putting up all this attitude? Isn't that obvious? What? That I'm no longer sure about this relationship. You keep telling me you love me, but you don't show it enough. Baby, where is all this coming from? You know deep down in my heart that I love you. And I try as much as possible to show in the little way I can. How else? Have I not shown you that I love you? I have a friend whose boyfriend just proposed. He gives her all the attention, always calling her, always buying her gifts, and above all, is faithful to her. Hmm, you never seem to amaze me. Concerning your friend whose boyfriend just proposed, if you can remember very well, I proposed to you some weeks ago in this same house, but you said that you were not ready and needed more time. You even said I wasn't romantic enough with the proposal and wanted the proposal public and not private. I decided to swallow all of that and forge ahead with the relationship. Concerning buying gifts and attention, am I not trying? Don't I give you everything you want? What else do you want here? And where is this being faithful coming from? Why are you comparing me to another man? I'm not comparing you to anyone. I'm just telling you your faults in this relationship. You asked me, and that's what I'm telling you. The other day, you were telling your brother that you are already engaged and will be getting married. Meanwhile, you are not engaged to anyone, and I don't know who or what to believe. I thought we have talked about this before. I told my brother that because of the pressure to get married. I said that to him just to get him off my neck. And besides, if you had accepted my proposal, I would have been engaged to you. I don't believe you. Just tell me if you have another girl so that I don't waste my time with you. We you stop this nonsense? There is no other girl anywhere. Why would I propose to you if I had someone else? I don't know. All I know that something is definitely not right. You are just trying to bring up issues, but I won't pick up a fight with you. Since you don't want me here, I will be on my way. Is that all you have to say? What else do you want to say? It's obvious that all you want this evening is to cause us to have issues, which I'm not cut out for. I will call you when you are a little bit cool. Bye. You better come back here and tell me the truth. Running away won't solve the problem because no matter how hard you try to hide, whatever you are hiding, I'll definitely find out. No sir. <laughs> Why the sudden change and doubt? 
is there something I'm doing wrong in this relationship? Am I not giving her enough care and attention? Maybe I have been too busy that I didn't notice when I dropped. I have to sit up and win my love back. I love her so much and I can't afford to lose her. She can't slip off my fingers just like that. I need to win her trust and heart back. <laughs> Tell me that you've broken up with Anita. Yes, yeah, so that girl is a gold digger. Really? Why do you say so? Can you believe that every time we go out on a date or shopping, she will be expecting me to pay the bill. The girl won't wreck me. She don't pity me at all. You're not serious. Who is supposed to pay the bills? Aren't you the one that's supposed to pay? Ta! We are supposed to split the bills. You think everybody is mumu like you? You know what your problem is? Stinginess. You are too stingy. And I always tell you that, but you don't listen. Anyways, the baby will show you something. They come. Ta! They have not born the girl well. And besides, I am not stingy. I am just being careful with my money. Okay, if you say so. Hello? Sweetheart? Okay, I'll be on my way now. I love you. Guys, I got to go now. We had to. We just got here. I'm going to see my babe. I have some sweet roses and I'll go to see her. Must you get something for her before going to see her? Must you spend because you are going to see her again? I said that this thing this girl is using for you is a strong charm. She's not just a girl. She's my wife to be and nothing is too much for her. Anyways, I've got to go now. Take care of the bills. Eh? Take care of the bills? Better come back here and let's split it. You cannot pay for drinks, Abby, but you have money to buy flour for a girl. Mumu boy.